my channel. I hope you're all doing good. Just realised I'm wearing the same shirt in my last video. Never mind. Hi guys, so I hope you're all doing good, like I just said. I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're doing things that make you feel great. I hope you're spending this time with loved ones and you know, what can we do? I thought I'd sit in this position today. How do you feel about it? Because I thought we'd do a chill video, just like a talky one. I'm going to tell you about the piercings that I've got and my tattoos. I don't know if this is something my subscribers like or dislike. That's okay if you don't like tattoos and piercings. It's not a problem. Click off this video. It won't offend me. Don't worry. But I feel like some people are interested in things like that. I certainly am. I love tattoos and piercings. So I like to watch videos like this anyway. So if you do like these videos, stick around and see what happens. I mean, you guys have seen some of my tattoos, but not all of them because some of them are hidden. So I just thought, let's do this video. Why the hell not? So I'll start with my piercings. I have three piercings now. I've got my ears. Let's zoom right in there. Hello. So I have one hole so I have one hole in each ear and if you can see there's a little rip in that ear that I used to tell people was because someone ripped an earring out because I was so embarrassed about my life but actually I was just born like that so don't worry about that too much guys I've just got some Primark hoops in because too far There we are. Because I just wear random stuff in my ears. Sometimes I wear studs, sometimes I wear big hoops if I go out. I'm really into like these little hoops at the moment, so that is what we're rocking today. They were the first thing I ever got done, my ears. That was when I was about 12-ish. I can't remember exactly, but I was young. I got them done in Claire's accessories. And if you're an English girl, you know about Claire's old oh, guy, girl or gal, guy or gal girl then you all know about Claire's accessories let's be honest um I then went to Turkey with Eloise and we decided to get another piercing don't do that stupid idea and I got the second hole in this ear done but it made my ear go all dodge so I took that out so currently I just rock one hole in each ear I did think about getting them done again but Am I that bothered? Right now, no, so I'm not gonna do that. And then my second piercing, which I'm sure you guys probably know, is my tongue. I've had that done since I was 16 now, which is nearly 10 years. In fact, it is 10 years this year, so. Wow. Um, people have asked me before, does it hurt? And it's a weird one because inside, if you're squeamish, then probably fast forward this bit. In your tongue, like the inside of it is just water basically. So you can only feel, or me personally, this is what I felt, you can only feel it going in, because what they do is they clamp your tongue and then they get a needle. And depending, let's zoom in. I don't know why I keep zooming in this close to my face, but we all know I've got spots, it's fine. What happens is, depending on where your veins are, they will clamp your tongue, put a needle through, and poke it obviously all the way through to the other side so I only really felt the needle go in and then come out in between not so much when you do get your tongue pierced it swells quite heavily I'm gonna zoom back out again because we don't need to see my face that close um, of course when you get your tongue pierced is it um, and then I said it zooms quite heavily it swells quite a lot so initially the bar that you get is twice the size of this one so it's around this big which is really strange, it's really fidgety. When you first get it, you think, how am I ever gonna eat with this? To be honest, I didn't eat properly for a good four or five days. I ate a lot of ice cream. And I'm not gonna lie, at that time, I was just really craving a doner kebab. Don't eat doner kebabs now, but I was craving a doner kebab. But I just ate a lot of soft things like mash, ice cream. And, you know, it wasn't that fun for the first few days. And... Yeah, after those few days it starts to go down, so then you get a, um, then you get a bar this size. Sorry if any of you find that weird. 
but at the moment I've just got a clear ball on the top. I like to keep it clear. I do have some others that are like colourful. I just got a pack just in case because sometimes it falls out. You know what happens? People always ask me how does it not get stuck on your fork. Honestly, it's kind of just something that you get used to it. When I take this out now, I feel like there's something missing at the top of my mouth. It's really strange. Again, I know everyone's not going to be into that and that's absolutely fine. Yeah, and that is absolutely fine. If you don't like that stuff, then cool. If you do, if you've got any other questions, let me know. I got that done in a shop in Stockport, if anyone's from around here. It's actually called Tony's. Well, it's called White Dragon, but everyone calls it Tony's. Yeah, so... I don't want to freak too many people out, but if it's something you've thought about getting done, then that is that. When I was around... 16, 17, I also got my belly button pierced. Unfortunately, the story behind that one, not so good. It decided, nah, it's not for me this. So my body actually rejected that piercing. So I think I had it done for around three weeks and it, again, if you don't like gruesome stuff, probably skip past this bit, excuse me. But it worked its way through the skin forward. So ended up my skin Ripping like this, the belly button ring, the ring, the bar fell out, of course, and then my skin closed back up. So I do have a tiny little scar there, not much, but that was the end of the piercings for me. Can't see myself getting any more, maybe the second ears, but apart from that, I can't think of any others that I'd really want. So that brings us on to the tattoos. So I actually have five tattoos. You guys have probably only seen one or two. Or if you follow me on Instagram, maybe you've seen my others as well because some of my pictures, you can see those. If you don't, it's always linked in the description. And my TikTok now because that's what I do when we're in lockdown. So if you want to laugh, also go over and follow me on that. So the first tattoo I got, I was 18. And my stepbrother actually designed this tattoo for me. I'm going to add a picture in of all my tattoos. Because some of them are in weird places. a bit hard to show you maybe on here. I'll try, but go on then. We'll see. So my first tattoo, my stepbrother designed for me. He actually drew it. My boyfriend takes the mick at me all the time because he thinks it looks like the Chiquito's lizard. So cheers, Dan. Um, I just really like lizards. I'm not, there's not some crazy meaning behind that tattoo or anything. I just really like the look of like abstract lizard things. And when I was 18, I really liked that. Don't get me wrong, I still like my tattoo now. I'm a bit crazy, I know. Like, you have to make sure you really want something if you get it. And I don't regret getting that tattoo. I really like that tattoo. It's now not my favourite, but I do really like it. And my stepbrother designed that to me because his drawing is unreal. So... That I got when I was 18 and I got that done in a Wilmslow shop. Again, if you're from around here, you'll know. Can't remember the name of it. Didn't get any more tattoos done in that shop. Then my second tattoo. Again, my first two I got on both sides of my ribs, which is a bit crazy when apparently they are the more painful spots. But apparently Loz just decided I'm going to do the ribs. And honestly, I feel like I must have quite a high pain threshold because I mean don't get me wrong it's not nice it's not like oh my god love this but it wasn't as bad as I expected it to be especially on the ribs like it's a bit oh, I don't know I don't really know how you would explain tattooing to someone that's not got a tattoo um I don't really know it's an annoying pain and it's there but honestly I didn't find it too too bad this one took around an hour my next one which i'll show you took literally about 10 minutes and i love 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 this tattoo again i'll put pictures in of all these because i don't know whether we're gonna get the best view but that says love in three different languages so that tattoo says love in three different languages. We've got French, we've got Arabic, and we've got English. Yes, guys, please, if you're going to get something in a different language, check it multiple times. 
I used to work with a lady who actually writes in Arabic, so she wrote it for me. I also checked it on Google Translate. I also typed it in multiple different things. I got her to check what I'd already done. I showed her, she said yes, she then wrote it out for me. I then took that exact thing that she wrote out for me to the tattoo artist at Manchester Inc, which is where I got most of my tattoos done. And she then copied it like that. Of course, again, with the French, I just checked all over the place. I mean, French is a little bit more easy to find than Arabic. So I was really lucky that I had her able and she was able to do that for me. I love that tattoo. Again, it's took 10 minutes. It's really small and dainty, but I really, really love that tattoo. I think I got that done when I was around 18 as well. Once you get a tattoo, I feel like you get the tattoo buzz then and it's kind of like, you want to keep going. But I mean, Dan actually had no tattoos when we met. And if you've seen him now, he came with me to get one of my tattoos and now he's got two sleeves nearly. So, says it all really. So, we've got both ribs done. After that, I got the top of my leg done. So, I really like, look, actually, I'm gonna say something. None of these tattoos have got like some crazy, really deep meaning behind, honestly. I know some people will only get tattoos like that and some people don't at all. And that's absolutely fine. You guys do what you wanna do. If you don't like tattoos, don't get any. If you wanna cover your whole arm, cover your whole arm, you know, be sensible, make sure you know exactly what you want. Because we've got a horror story coming up in a second. But yeah, so third tattoo I got, I got this done at Manchester Inc again. And I got a lotus flower, uh, a mandala. So I'll show you that if I can. Right up at the top of my leg. Again, I'll add a picture in, but I absolutely love this tattoo as well. It's got really intricate work in it, dot work, which is a bit painful. Again, this one took around an hour. And really at first it's a bit painful, it's a bit annoying. But if you kind of concentrate on something else, I was laid down, I was looking at the clouds, I had my earphones in. It kind of, for me personally, just kind of goes by. I don't really know how to explain the tattoo pain, but I got that one. Let me see when I got that one actually, because I took a picture of it. Because all my tattoos were quite a while ago now. Let's see if I've still got that picture. I actually got that one in 2015. Wow. Five years ago now, that's crazy. So what was I, 20? 20 or 21? Well, yeah, so by 21 I had three tattoos. Absolutely love my leg tattoo and my writing here. Love my lizard as well. I mean, I love all my tattoos except one, which we're getting onto right now in fact. So. Dan was getting tattooed and I was like sat there, you sat in a tattoo shop, you're looking around, you're thinking, I want to get tattooed. So, so I went to a different shop because they couldn't fit me in there and I got this quote on my arm which you guys will have seen. I'm going to zoom in for you. So this actually says, life isn't about finding yourself, life is about creating yourself and I did really love this quote, however you'll see that this bit is slightly gone. And I'll tell you the reason that bit's slightly gone guys. And the reason for that is because they spelt it wrong. Yep, yeah, I know and they can argue that I didn't check it well, not gonna lie, I did check it and I was looking for the apostrophes and stuff and it's, it's both parts. It's wrong on both parts. I'm not going to completely blame them. But at the same time, I should have looked better. They should have looked better. It's done now. What are we going to do? So I literally got that tattoo done. Took about five minutes. Went back to where Dan was getting tattooed. Was looking over it. Was really happy. And then I was looking at it. And I was like... That is spelt wrong. And I literally just started crying in the middle of the tattoo shop. I just got this tattoo done about ten minutes earlier. And it's spelt wrong. It's spelt wrong. I nearly, no, I didn't nearly anything. I was crying. I was full on crying in this shop. The girl at reception was like, I was like, they've, they've spelt my tattoo wrong. How can they do this? What am I gonna do? I was freaking out, seriously. 
I think uh, maybe I should zoom back in again. Oh no, I'll show you. I'll, I'll, in this picture I can show you. But basically, they've spelt the last two words wrong. Even though they've already wrote that word in the line above, I'm not going to go into it. It gets me really upset. But after that, I was like, this has got to come off my arm. So you have to leave it at, si at least six weeks before you can do anything with it. And then I started to get laser treatment on it. And fair enough to the shop, they actually gave me that laser treatment for free because they'd spelt it wrong, so fair enough. I'm not gonna say the name of the shop because I don't think that's right. It was a mistake. It's not that they're not good at tattoos. It was a mistake on both parts. So I then started getting lasering on it. So I actually got it lasered around, was it three or four times? Again, you have to wait six weeks in between. This was years ago now, so I got it lasered. Not gonna lie, that hurts a lot more than tattooing, I feel personally. People say it's like an elastic band pricking on you, which I understand, but I think it's a little bit more painful than that, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so I got that done a few times, and then it was Christmas and stuff, so we didn't go, and then I tried to go back, and their laser machine was broken for like two years, and then I, I finally made an appointment, I went in, and they were like, oh sorry, we've had to change the staff that's been in today and they're not qualified to laser so at this point i'm just like wow i have this tattoo on my arm it's half gone what am i going to do so i've actually decided that i'm going to take the whole thing off and maybe i'll have to go somewhere else to get lasered i don't know obviously it's not cheap so maybe i'll do a whole video on that getting taken off because i do actually want to replace it with something i'm not going to say yet because obviously when i get that done that's a whole other thing, but yeah, so that's tattoo number four. Which brings us on to my last tattoo, which has a very, very strong meaning to it, which is the only one of my tattoos that really does have something behind it. And that is because I have a B tattoo, if you're from Manchester, or if you're from around the rest of the world, you guys will know surely about, then I'm sure you guys will know about the Manchester Arena attack unfortunately that happened of course and everyone in manchester came together we all got b tattoos well not everyone people in manchester wanted to get b tattoo i got it so i could donate the money to the families and stuff of the attack i'm from manchester i'm very proud to be from manchester with mine though i'll add a picture i'll try and show you but it's a bit of an awkward angle so let me just see if i can do it for you, one sec. Is that going close enough? I don't know. But I can't hold my leg up that good because I'm not that flexible. But I got the B and I actually got one love written, uh, written. I got one love written underneath. I just feel like it gave it something extra. But yes, that is the reasoning behind my B tattoo. I got it on my ankle as I thought that would be a really cool place to get it. And I actually love that tattoo. I think it looks really cool. And excuse me, like I said, I am proud to be from Manchester. I am proud to have supported that um, situation in the world. I'm proud, to support it. I'm proud to have supported that cause as well. So that brings us to the end. We've done my piercings. Yeah, we did each tattoo like i said i'll probably do a separate video when we can go out again and i can start getting this taken off my arm and replaced with the new tattoo that i've got as for any other new tattoos i don't really have any plans to get anything else right now but you never know maybe i'll get some more maybe i won't but if i do of course i will take you with me i hope some of you guys really enjoyed this video and found it really interesting or just found it informational I was gonna say that's not a word or you just found it um, I don't know found it I don't know got some information from it didn't get some information from it enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down there I would really love for you guys to join the Elmi fam and I will see you next time for more videos bye guys <laughs>